It looks so good and it does smell good too. So I'm just gonna sample a little bit. Mm. Hi, it's Dot from dotstrot.com and today I'm making a uh, mustard barbecue sauce. I'm making a pulled pork. It is in the oven right now as we as I chat with you um, And so I wanted to make a mustard uh, barbecue mustard sauce that really goes really well with the pork The problem I find with barbecue in general and mustard or not mustard But sauces to go on barbecues is the amount of sugar that they have in them uh, many of them look have include brown sugar and as someone who's low carb, high fat, I don't do any type of sugar whatsoever. It just isn't healthy for me. It's gonna make me gain weight, period, or certainly stop my weight loss progress. So I've been on a quest to come up with my own barbecue sauce that I can make that doesn't have sugar but still is wonderfully tasty, and I think I've stumbled upon it. What we're gonna do is the, uh, add these ingredients. It takes about 30 minutes to make. You do put it on the stove to cook it a little bit. Uh, so some ingredients go in at right off the bat and others come in a little bit later. Uh, you use about a cup of straightforward yellow mustard. Uh, you're going to use three quarters of a cup of um, apple cider vinegar. I use uh, two tablespoons of butter. I use um, half a teaspoon of coconut anaminos and this is sort of uh, my replacement for soy sauce. Oh, excuse me, I'm being corrected, it's amino acids. I always make that mistake for some reason. Um, I use liquid smoke, uh, hot sauce. I also use two tablespoons of chili, um, a pinch or a, a, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I use about roughly, oh gosh, a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of white pepper. So black pepper and white pepper. Uh, what, oh, this is my ingredient. This is just for me, so, you know, hey, hey. <laughs> it's been a long day so but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and start and so the first things you want to add and I'm adding it straight to the pot because I'm gonna be cooking it on a low heat in this pot is I'm gonna add the mustard and this is the most important ingredient it's just a yellow mustard I use uh, no need to be fancy with gray poupon or any other mustard that they have on the market just straightforward yellow mustard okay that's in there and then the apple cider vinegar just pour that all in and then all of my spices are going to go in at this time too for the flavoring and then I'm going to add so I have all that in there I'm going to start swirling it around a teaspoon as much as I love Frank's I find a teaspoon works the best because I do have cayenne pepper and chili in here so it's spicy enough you don't want it to be so hot that you burn your eyeballs out <laughs> so whoops but here we go, we're gonna start splashing it around, I guess, on my little counter. But you just start mixing it together. You want the flavors to blend, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna, I put this on a stove on, on um, a lowish heat, essentially. You don't want it to boil at all whatsoever. You stir on occasion. Um, when it starts really getting hot, you sort of keep a closer eye on it. You don't want it to burn on the bottom. And what you're doing, you're just sort of, you know, making the flavors sort of meld together a little bit and you're taking out any excess liquid. These ingredients that I have here, the butter, the uh, liquid smoke, and the um, coconut amino, uh, they go in later, about 15 minutes after it's on the stove. And then you're gonna put those in and then you're gonna cook for another 15 minutes. And then you just let your sauce chill. Uh, you do want this to sort of have some time to sit in the fridge to let the um, flavors sort of meld together. I was, I was like the flavors melting together, that's clear. Um, in order to do that, now the best way to do it is to make it the night before. I didn't get a chance to do that because I was making some sun-dried tomatoes. But um, as, as long as it's in the refrigerator for a few hours before you need it, that's perfectly fine. I usually like to let it sit for 24 hours in the fridge. So right now, I got everything blended together. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and start putting it on the stove and cook it for about 15 minutes. And then when we come back, I'll go ahead and add the remaining ingredients and sort of go ahead and cook it a little bit longer. It's been about 15 minutes, so this is on the stove and you can see it, it's definitely hot. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't bubble or boil or anything like that, so I've been stirring it periodically. What I'm gonna do is add the next three ingredients and it's gonna cook for about 10 minutes longer. Um, the first one I'm going to add is about half a teaspoon of um, coconut aminos 
And again, like I said before, this is my soy replacement, my soy sauce replacement. Uh, there's no wheat inside of it. It's come straight from coconuts. It's really healthy and it does taste like soy. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of liquid smoke. And the thing with liquid smoke, that's great. It gives it a very, very smoky flavor. I should have took the cap off, but that's okay. It's a little tough to get off. But I'm going to do ta uh, a tablespoon of this. It gives it a really nice smoky flavor, as if it was on the grill. Um, the one thing, I, I guess if I have misgivings about this, is that I'm sort of now, because I'm low-carb, low, low carb, high fat, and I'm all about eating real food, is I hate buying stuff that comes from the store. Um, if it's not natural or I wouldn't necessarily say organic, because not or all organic foods are actually very necessarily good for you. Um, some of them are just as chemical as others. They can just call themselves that. I'm adding two tablespoons of butter, by the way. Um, but the whole idea is, I, I, if I can't control the ingredients, then I don't know how healthy it is for me. And that's sort of my, the way I sort of look at things. And so I don't know how to make liquid smoke right now. Once I master the idea of how to make it myself, I know it'll be all natural ingredients. But anyway, it is officially done. You can see it steaming a little bit. I'm gonna take a little taste. It looks so good and it does smell good too. So I'm just gonna sample a little bit. Mm. Um, you definitely have the mustard flavor, so you know it's a mustard sauce. It has a nice little cake, but it's not overly, overly hot. Uh, as far as, not temperature wise, obviously it's a little bit more temperature wise, but hot as far as the hot sauce and the cayenne pepper. Uh, it really has a nice little flavor to it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna let it sit here and cool. Um, and before I put it in the fridge to sort of sit and sort of let the flavors continue to melt, but it really does taste absolutely wonderful. It really makes my mouth water. I can't wait to get it on that pork. Um, but for now, that's all. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.